Hello, my name is Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. And uh, today I'm going to talk to you about us moving forward. Uh, many of us had a tough time with the Cardinal Cross energies and it's not really gone. Uh, the other thing that we've had happen, we just had a full moon that was a real doozy for many people, including myself, who pretty much had to just go to bed early and ride it out. Um, it was deep, it was intense, and yet it served a purpose. And now we're on the other side of this. So I want to let you know some really exciting news of what to expect moving forward. We're in the time now where twin flames not only are expected to, but can surge forward in confidence. And those are the energies we're moving into. These energies are here to support you, particularly from May 20th to the 28th. Um, there is going to be surges of energy. And what does this mean? Well, uh, let me give you a little bit of background. Two years ago in 2012, this exact same time was when the moon, our moon, Earth, the Sun, and the Pleiades were perfectly lined up. They were in alignment. This was a time that was expected. Um, this was the precession of the Pleiades and the time that was expected, which is to propel us, prepare us and propel us. So this was the beginning of the uh, really intense preparation time. This is also the culmination of a cycle. So many things are coming full circle. It might look like deja vu, like haven't I had that situation before? Didn't that happen when I first met my twin? Or why is this family situation coming up again? What's been happening is while you've been moving through the cycle, um, as a collective, we've been going through the photon belt. We've been affected. We've been getting cleansed and cleared. The feminine is, is cleansed. And that's feminine inside either a man body or a woman body. Um, it is the end of the Venus transit. And also, Mars is coming out of retrograde and going direct exactly on that day. So what does this mean? That means that both the feminine and the masculine can be confident. You will have uh, honed some of your gifts, your skills, your intuitions, your internal knowingness. And some of that knowingness is, yes, knowing who your twin is and not doubting because you did not come here to be dropped by the universe on your rear end. You did not. This is not some cosmic joke being played on you, so please let go of any beliefs, doubts, fears, perceptions that you might have. You might not be with your twin, and quite frankly, the people who are with their twin don't really linger in the internet. They are doing what they're here to do or what they feel. And so as people merge together or get together with their twin, they're sometimes going off into things. The people that I talk to don't necessarily have the most cherry vanilla situations. When I do sessions with people, and this started uh, back when I first started doing them uh, seven years ago and five years ago, um, I would hear the core fear of the person or the counterpart, and they were, you know, really deep primal fears. Please don't leave me here. Don't abandon me. I'm afraid. I don't want to be alone. And they might seem irrational, but this is what has been being cleared out for you. So for everyone who is a twin, if you haven't known what to do, please know that the gears of the universe, these cycles, are serving a purpose, and they are getting these things cleared out at the molecular level, like I said back a couple videos ago. So what does this mean for twin flames particularly? It means you can take some action. It's time for action, people. And I mean real action. That is what is expected. It's what some of you have to do. It could be anything from, you know, getting some medical things done that you've been putting off, 
getting some kind of maintenance or healing you uh you know you, that you need or maybe you don't know that you need maybe it's time to check yourself out and find out you know what is this ache what is this pain why do i feel like this why did we move through the moon and maybe i still feel like i have a fever go check yourself out and also it will mean divorces yes it will because a lot of you do know that either you're in an expired marriage or your twin is in, a, in an expired marriage or that you have a perception. Your perception is that, you know what, I think that's just done. I think we're so done with this. It's going to mean other actions could be geographical moves, job changes, things that will bring you into alignment for your purpose, for your well-being, and for being with your twin in a physical manner. Now, all twins, with these energies, when we surge forward, so regardless of whatever your perceptions are, that nothing happened, you will be brought closer together. And that is something that my guides have said, that all that is has said. And back in March of 2012, we passed through a portal that my guides referred to as the point of no return, which sounds a little scary, and I know it scared a lot of people with masculine energies, but the thing is, is um, a lot of you really wouldn't want to go back to old situations or exes or old jobs or something like that. You may be biding your time where you don't know what the universe has in store for you, and let me tell you, because of these energies and because of the twins who have already merged, the love that they are bringing is going to start making dreams come true so that you can be together and merge. And it's going to make miracles happen. Small miracles, large miracles, global size miracles, um, small things with people around you that you know. I'm already seeing it here in Chicago where I live. And also when I do sessions with people, I'm seeing a shifting where the load is lightened up. The issues are not quite as heavy as intense because I feel the energies and I feel the heavy, brooding, oppressive um, things, fears and negativities that need to go. And you know, it's gotten lighter and lighter and lighter. And that's what we do. We focus. We clear and we ascend, and we focus and we clear and we ascend. And this is how we're doing it. This is the kinder, softer, gentler way of doing this ascension because, quite frankly, if we flipped the switch two years ago, a lot of people would have either uh, your physical body could not take it or you'd have a nervous breakdown or something like that. So we are easing out of situations, out of marriages, out of jobs, out of geographical places that um, maybe we've just been holding something there and it's time to go. Or maybe we had to give our gifts to our family and it's time to go. So what you want to do is really focus on your twin, focus on yourself, particularly if you feel that you've done the work. You may need to uh, nurture yourself while your twin does their part. There are things that you can do on behalf of your twin as proxy or that I assist you with during session uh, for those people who have contacted me. And I, I always work to empower people and that's why I'm doing these messages. I want you to feel encouraged. I want you to feel confident. I want you to really feel the truth of who you are. You are not a crazy person who's obsessed with someone. That is your soul. It belongs to you in the most intrinsic, natural, intimate way possible. And other people won't understand. They can't understand because it is an experience. You have to experience it. And this is another thing that comes up. It annoys me. I know, I know it annoys some of you people. Some of the New Age stuff. This is not a New Age concept. New Age things are sometimes a remembrance of things that got us to a certain point to help us lighten up. True enlightenment or ascension does not occur 
by doing the seven habits of successful people or going to a rich dad, a poor dad seminar or going to um, an activation where someone puts a hand on you. Those are all tools, okay? We are the love that fires up every modality that heals you, anything. So what I do is done through the love of my union. What else, some other twins do, whether they're musicians, actors, lawyers, um, surgeons, they do it through the love of their union if they are a twin flame. And many people are very successful, but some of them are finding that there's sort of this pulling back and the curtain's been drawn and they can't feel their twin and they don't know what's going on. Sometimes the twin doesn't know. This is giving them pause. This is giving them the pause to really consider, God, what is, what is it you have for me? Why is this happening? Why are things seeming like they're moving and people are angry at me and, you know, you have to give your twin the chance and so that you can come together. This is for the feminine and the masculine. And I hear from males and females. I hear from gay people, straight people. And the core issues are very similar because we have common things with each other. But who you are is truly unique. Truly unique. The commonalities come from numerous lifetimes, habits, and patterns that are covering us. So you always have to remember that the merge is going to complete you and fully help you become who you are. Because you are the light and the love here. You are pure light, pure love, no matter how many behaviors or anything you're covered up with. So let's take, for example, drinking, drinking alcohol. This uh, pertains to the energy of escapism. This is one of the things that is a transmuter. When I did large bundle transmuting with my guides, we got rid of it. The energy of escapism, that's gone. Any kind of escapism, addictions, drug use, alcohol use, uh, gambling, anything that is a distraction and a disfocus from your twin. Now, how does this work? Well, it started way out right after we first separated. So we had to get back to the point in the cycles where it can be removed once and for all. The rest you're left with are habits, patterns. Many times it's been there for many lifetimes. So you have to be patient, but you also encourage your twin through your heart. Please go seek help. Stop this. You don't need this. You need me. You need me, you need me, you need me. Hi, here I am. This is me. And you um, help your twin that way. While you are wishing it away, you're wishing it out of your genetic lineage, both your ancestral, your spiritual, and your children, any future children. And it could be for any peripheral children, uh, nieces, nephews, grandchildren, what have you. So this is just an example you cannot let these things limit you, okay? We've transmuted so much stuff that what you have is a tiny hurdle. There are no limits. Not You can't consider that anything should limit you coming together and merging. So this is for, it is intended to be full on. It's fully integrated, your body, mind, and soul. This is to merge and liberate all your five bodies which is your, your physical body, which is your new light body, your etheric body, your new mental body, which a lot of people are still getting rid of the remnants of it, your new emotional body, and your cosmic universal body. Why? Because you're beings from source. You can go anywhere in the universe. And this is how you're preparing to do that. And that might sound like, science fiction it's actually not science fiction is based on our experiences so some of the new age stuff that says oh look at some rainbows and feel good and it sounds like cotton candy fluff to people we are we actually have the experiences where we know the taste of something and we feel it inside we hear music and we feel the vibrations this is what sets us apart from most of the rest of the human population and we've been made sometimes to feel like misfits. We are not. 
We are source beings. Twin flames are source beings. And yes, royal angelic illumined Blu-ray twin flames do exist. Most of the, um, the Blu-rays did live in Atlantis and Luria. So we do exist. Don't let anyone tell you it's a concept or it's just, you know, some fly-by-night thing. Also, don't fall into the trap of letting people distort this or use your love to, um, you know, there's people that are attracting people and, and they don't have accurate information. And while I don't pretend to be a total expert on this because you all have your own gifts and abilities you're bringing here. I hope one day that you'll bring something to the table that I really want to know or, or use or whatever. For right now, I am uh, gifted with this information, which I'm sharing in the form of a public service announcement. Um, I do also do one-on-one -on -one sessions, but what we're doing here is we're moving right along here. The universe is moving you along. So what does this mean at a physical level for people? What this means is that if you've been waiting for your twin to get out of the marriage, they're going to get out of it. One of the two people in that marriage will start to leave. It might be your twin or if your twin's too afraid. And you have your part in this is to reassure your twin. Tell your twin you're here. They're not abandoned. You are their safe haven. You are their soft landing spot. And you hold your twin. You have to pull the worries down out of their head. Get rid of the worry. It's important for you to stay grounded. And I can't emphasize that enough. So what we actually started two years ago, and actually way back, um, 1967, 1987, uh, 1992, and then 2001, and, and you know, 2000, and so on and so forth. I'll give you a little model of, this is how some of, uh, this is the closest model I could think of. So you have a direct pipeline to source. And on these rungs are twin flame couples who keep ascending. And little by little, we are merging together and getting to source. And, you know, there are people also, I'm just going to say this, who think that maybe they have one more than one twin flame. Three's a crowd. There is only one true harmonic energetic and vibrational match to you as a twin flame. Not a third wheel, not, just not. So no, you tell your twin no, and um, you tell yourself no, there's, there's only me and my twin. It's one-on-one -on -one with two bodies, each a part of the same soul merging together here. And you will liberate yourself. Remind yourself you are the light and the love. Now, how do you do this? Well, let me tell you, you already are on the inside. You have everything in the form of a treasure on the inside. So you have treasure boxes and keys. So does your twin. You need to be together to unlock these treasures that you have within. And you also have something you're doing here right here. Um, the other thing that I'll show you, these are little glow sticks. I thought these would be a good analogy because what do you do with these? You crack. Well, a lot of us are feeling cracked on the inside, but then what happens? We start to glow. And little by little, those little cracks are going to help you glow and emerge your body. And I want to give you um, sort of a, another picture here. Just so you, for people that might feel like they're alone or they're isolated, because I do talk to people, I've spoken to people since I had this awakening. And granted, it's not 30 years, but I had a pretty abrupt awakening. I talk to everyone about it. There's people at the grocery store that know me and ask me stuff. There's people at the bank. Uh, I have friends, this is not... A recruitment I have a gift where I can feel people and I feel if they're twin flames it happened to me when I watched uh, the wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton 
I knew without a doubt they were Illumin Twin Flames because the energies just were upon me. They have to acknowledge it, though. So, you know, me saying it, it will be uh, huge if somebody publicly says it. I'm saying it as publicly as I can in this venue. So thank you for listening. But um, I do speak to a lot of people. I have friends that I've made. I've lost friends, not because of this, but because I had to keep moving along and I couldn't stay in the energies that they were in. And, and I wish to see those people again. And so this is, this is, like I said, the time of wishes, dreams, miracles. This is it. We're going to start making miracles happen for people. Healings. And easy breezy. Because your um, ascension is intended to be easy. So these are some of the places that I've talked to. I'm here in Chicago. People in Phoenix. Los Angeles. Hawaii. Tahiti. Mount Denali. Calgary. New York, Florida, my, the Mayan Peninsula, Bogota, these are friends that I have, Caracas, okay, Casablanca, these are either people I've met in my travels or people that have contacted me and or friends, family, relatives. So if we kind of lay this out in the sense, um, Kuwait, Athens, Rome, Palermo, Madrid, um, south of France, the Netherlands, London, Glasgow, and then we've got, you know, if you start tracing these, what does this look like? Goa, Moldova, Kiev. So these are all... These are all energetic connections. Does this not start looking like a brand new grid? And that's what we're doing. Some of us are here to fire up and fuse together to fire up the grid of life. That is our agreement. That is why it's so important for certain people to be together. That's why they will look singularly focused, which gets misinterpreted as obsession. And we're all over the globe. There's a plan. There's a sequence to it. We agreed to the plan. And some of you are coming into the last parts of your agreement, which is to come together in a certain spot so that you can fire this grid. And it's, it's a part of the divine plan. It is a sacred agreement. Sacred agreements, you don't get out of. Your soul fulfills them. That's what that means. And so... Please don't doubt that you will come together with your twin and that the love, it's not going to be physical unless you want it to be. It will be angelic where you're out of body and then you bring the energy into these geographical spots. So when you make love, whenever you have to go somewhere, you tell yourself, oh, I'm bringing my flamey energy there. I don't know who I'm going to meet. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be good. Why? Because this is your ascension is intended to be wonderful. It is not intended to be all pain and tediousness and loneliness and just banal endless days. It's gonna shift. It's gonna it's gonna keep moving for you. And for some of you, it is your time. It is your time. Now, the last thing I'm going to um, tell you about is I have a total recall of my most recent ascension, which was actually on the planet Neptune. We ascended it uh, as a group, as a collective, to the fifth dimensional level. And it was a part of the plan. And my twin came, we were at a park, we agreed to meet at a park, my twin came walking towards me, and we breezed right into each other. It was easy. Now the energetics of Neptune were different than Earth. Earth is a very dense planet with strong electromagnetics. Um, it, there's a reason for that, but it's also held things in place. So we've needed to lighten up the planet in order to ascend and in order for the masculine and the feminine to come together. And um, that total recall that I have is one of the most beautiful memories that I have. And it was so easy. It was so beautiful. It was so loving. And we just you know, merged and became one. 
And um, that is the intent here, is that when you merge, that you feel liberated, you feel free. Some of you already have or you've had partial merges. And you know, you know. But for some of you that are just newly discovering who you are, there's a plan. Some of you won't have to trip through 30 years of stuff like some people did or 10 years of, of stuff. But my suggestion is take your actions you need to and you will see that the universe is supporting those actions and you will feel better. You'll feel like things are on track and you'll feel like it goes easily, effortlessly. This is being made easier and easier as we go along, not more and more difficult. It's not. If people resist, that's where the difficulties come in. If you don't know, you ask to be shown. And it's okay to pause and breathe and catch your breath. Um, just remember that you are the ones who are the light and love here. Not everyone is going to understand us, and you know what? They don't have to, but they sure are going to appreciate what we're bringing. So thanks so much for listening. Have a wonderful day. Bye.